human rights groups distributed this video that shows over 1,000 Muslim men attacking 20 Ahmadiyya followers in western Java. At least three people were beaten to death in the violence earlier this month. There has been a rising number of attacks on religious minorities in the last few years. The Sitara Institute, a non-governmental group that monitors religious freedom, says attacks on the Ahmadiyya, who many Muslims consider to be heretics, went from three in 2006 to 50 in 2010. <laughs> Violence against Christian groups also has risen. In 2010, protests by Muslim groups against the building of a church in the Jakarta suburb of Bakasi turned violent and two pastors were stabbed. Recently, Muslim protesters attacked two churches in central Java. Human rights organizations say the Indonesian government must do more to protect minorities. Fundamentalist Muslim organizations like the Islamic Defenders Front have been accused of organizing the violence. Morhali Barda, the group's leader in Bakasi, says he supports diversity but will not tolerate other groups trying to convert Muslims or insulting the religion. When it comes to a core principle, like the Prophet or Allah, for instance, insulting Allah, in the name of Allah we will raise our weapons. Morhali was later arrested for alleged involvement in the Bakasi violence. Political analyst Sunni Tanya Wijaya with the Center for Strategic and International Studies in Jakarta says the rise of religious violence threatens the country's democratic foundation. If you allow this to flourish in, in, in the long run, it will become a security threat, whether you like it or not. Not only a security threat, but also a political threat, because it will destabilize Indonesia and it will destabilize the region. He compares the threat to terrorism. Indonesia takes strong action to dismantle Islamic terrorist groups. Abu Bakar Bashir, a radical cleric allegedly involved in deadly bombings in 2002 on Bali, now is on trial on charges of aiding a terrorist group. In contrast, the video of the attack on Ahmadiyya members shows police either unable or unwilling to stop the violence. Tanya Wijaya says while the president says he will disband groups involved in violence, he has in the past been reluctant to act because he needs the support of mainstream Islamic organizations. To curb religious violence in Indonesia and to sustain the country's democratic development, Tanya Wijaya says the government needs to support the rule of law over mob rule. Brian Padden, VOA News, Jakarta.